Hello, this is Lauren with Kingdom Web Services, and in this tutorial, we're going to be going over making changes and updates to articles on your website. As I explained in a previous tutorial, articles of your website house the page, page's main content. On this site, for example, this text is the main content of this home page. To begin making updates and changes to articles on your website, we're going to need to get into the back end of the site, which I have open here in another tab. And you'll see the back end is open to the control panel. To begin making changes and updates to articles on your website, we need to move from the control panel to the article manager. And we're going to accomplish this by using the main menu across the top left portion of the back end, clicking the word content, and then clicking the word articles. And once we click content and then click articles, you'll see we'll be brought to this articles manager. And in this articles manager, you'll see a list of all the articles in use on your website. To begin making changes or updates to a particular article or page, you must just find the title of that article you'd like to change in this list. In this case, we'll be using that home page and simply click the title to begin editing. After you click that title, you'll be brought to this articles edit screen. You'll see the title of the article, and below that, you'll see this word processing box. And this word processing box works just like Microsoft Word or any other word processing program. In that, if you'd like to add new text to this home page article, you simply place your cursor where you'd like that text to appear and start typing. And once you get that text in there, you can highlight it and format it any way you like using the formatting options above, including changing the font, changing the font size, changing the color. You can even create a hyperlink by clicking this chain link button if you'd like to direct your visitors to another website with this text, bullet lists, and so on. Anything you can do with Microsoft Word, you can do in this word processor. If you'd like to add a photo to an article, we're going to need to scroll down to the bottom of that word processing box, where we have a row of buttons on the bottom left. And in this row of buttons, you'll find one labeled Image. To insert a photo, we need to start by clicking this Image button found below the word processing box. And once I click that Image button, it opens up this pop-up box, which is known as the directory of your website. Any image that you'd like to use on your website must first be uploaded into this directory because the directory is like the brain of your website. It holds all of the content that's being used on your site. So in order to use a new photo, we'll need to upload one. And we can do that by scrolling down on this directory box to the very bottom, where you see we have an upload file area. And this works just like attaching a, a photo to an email. In that, we will click Browse or Choose Files. Depending on which browser you use, this button may display Choose Files. In this case, it says Browse. So you would simply click Browse, find the photo that you'd like to use, locate it on your computer, and then click Open. 
once you get it just like that, then we're going to upload that image from your computer into the directory by clicking the blue Start Upload button. Once that image has been uploaded, you'll see this nice green message saying Upload Complete, and then you'll see your new image that you just uploaded from your computer appear in your directory. Once you get that image uploaded, simply click the file name to select, and then click this blue Insert button in the upper right-hand corner to insert it into your article. So as you can see, we have that photo in there, but it's quite large. To resize an image that you've just uploaded and inserted into an article, simply click it one time. If you're using Chrome, that will turn the photo blue. I'm using Mozilla Firefox. So all it did was add a thin black border, but it gave me these white resize boxes in the corners. So I'm going to go to the white resize box in the upper left hand corner, click that box, and while holding down the mouse button, I'm going to drag it down, which will shrink that photo. And I'm going to keep doing that until it is the size that I would like it to display. This, in this case, happens to be quite a large photo. There we go. Once you get your image in there and size the way you like, scroll up a hair, you can then click it once to select the entire image and move it around the page using the alignment buttons in the formatting options above. Once you get your new text and photos into an article, to see these changes reflected on the front end of your website, we need to save our work in the back end. So I'm going to go ahead right now and go to the upper left hand corner and click the green Save button, which will save the new text and new image I've added to this home page article. Once we click Save, It'll save your work and show you another green message that tells you that the article was successfully saved. Then we can come back out to the tab with the live website in it. And as soon as I come out here, we can see that the changes I added aren't appearing. And that's simply because we need to refresh this web page so it knows to go out and look for new information. Once I refresh that browser page, you see the new text that I added and formatted, as well as the new photo that I uploaded, inserted, and resized in the back end in that word processing box. As soon as you save changes in the back end, it's immediately available on your live website. To take information out of an article, once you have this article edit screen open, you simply highlight what you no longer wish to appear and press backspace or delete on your keyboard. Being sure to save your work when you're finished. In this case, I'm actually going to click save and close. And you'll see when I click save and close, it tells me that my article was successfully saved and then it actually brings me right back out to that article manager. So if you had more pages that you'd like to work on, you could simply click the title and begin working on those. If I come back out to the front and refresh this page again, you'll see that information that I just added and then deleted has disappeared. And the home page is just as it was when I left it in the back. So that was making changes and updates to articles on your website, which we accomplished using the main menu atop the cross of your back end.
clicking the word content in that main menu, and then the word articles, which brings us to the article manager. And from the article manager, you would simply find the title of the article that you would like to make changes to. Click to open, being sure to click the save button when you're finished with your changes so that your changes show on your live website.